I'm Eddie Gomez, and here's what's happening this morning. Right now, police in Woodland are trying to figure out who made a 911 call saying Woodland High School was on lockdown because of a shooting. Now, officers were on campus for hours on Friday searching each classroom. Police say they found no evidence of a shooting, any weapons or suspects. Now, parents were reunited with their children around 2 o'clock Friday afternoon. And the FBI is trying to track down a murder suspect from Sacramento who might be on his way to Mexico. He's 30-year-old Joshua Baden, and police say he's wanted in connection with the murder last month on PV Court. Now, if you know anything, give police a call. And Vacaville police say a hateful letter sent to an interracial family does not rise to the level of a hate crime. So their investigation is pretty much over. Mark Yu says his family received an anonymous letter telling them interracial families like theirs weren't welcomed in their neighborhood. He says his family received an outpouring of support from the community. Now for a check of the weather, here's Carly Gomez. Good Saturday. We are taking a look at Mother's Day weekend and a warm one at that low 80s today, but we do expect temperatures in the mid 80s by tomorrow on Sunday. See your thunderstorm chances into Sunday evening as we could potentially see those thunderstorms right around 4 p.m. or so. Now cooler temperatures will return next week along with rain chances into the valley. Now we are looking at several systems just off the Pacific that will help drop temperatures as we move into next week. That will start up by Tuesday night into Wednesday and then each day after that we can expect to see temperatures right around the mid 70s so quite a drop here we'll see about a 10 degree drop from Sunday mostly sunny conditions through the weekend into early next week and then there's those 70s returning shower chances on Thursday and then we'll see those mid 70s continuing into next weekend